So to make a custom watch list in Tasty is actually really easy. Uh, you're going to come over here to the cog, go to watch list, and that's probably not it. Where is it at? Okay, and then you hit your list, and then you want to just create a new list, right? Add new list right here. Um, and then let's create the name, right? So it'd be like test watch list. Okay, and then you want to search for a symbol. So we'll start with spy. And then you just go ahead and hit add spy to watch list, right? And then you can stop there or you can add all your symbols in right now, right? But so now you have, we have a little bit of a watch list in here Then you can come back up here and you go to your watch list. And then now all you got to do is just right here at the top, right next to it. You know, you can just start adding the ones you like, you know, type of in and hit enter, uh, you know, and just go, you know, and then boom, now you have it. And now you can pull it up here or you can pull it up over here on the left. And now you have your custom watch list. Okay. So really simple. You can sort it by, you know, liquidity, you know, you can filter it. You can actually add some columns in here. If you go back to configure, um, you can, you know, add in whatever you want. You know, if you want to see the daily highs and the lows, um, you can just click on them and then there's your high. Where's my low? Oh, second columns over there, right? So really, really simple to add them in. You just click on whatever one you want that's not displayed. It'll pop it in over there. Then just hit OK. And there you go. You have your watch list. It's all set up. And now you can trade off of that. All right.